w a d i k a That's hello in Thai. My name is Anthony, and welcome to Quantum Finance. Let's talk about Nano Dimensional (NMDM). They just announced an acquisition today. They're acquiring DeepCube Limited, a machine learning or deep learning leader. This is anticipated, but at the same time, I'm a little cautious about this. In this video, I will share with you my thoughts on this and provide you my technical analysis on NMDM. All I ask of you in return is that you like and share the video to help us grow this channel. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. And while you're at it, hit the alert bell button so you can get my latest video update. Also, if you like to get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 each, be sure to use my link below in the description to open an account with Weibo and deposit $100. So our viewers have received Tesla and Google stocks. Please note that this video is for pure entertainment and educational purpose only. I am not a licensed financial advisor. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Before I start, I do have to disclose that I do own an NDM shares and that I'm long an NNDM. So was this a surprise to me that they acquired a machine learning or deep learning company? No, not really. That's because CEO Yof Stern had been prepping us for this. Earlier this year, on January 20th, 2021, Nano Dimension announced that they appointed Dr. Eli David to the board of directors. Dr. David is known as a world-renowned AI expert specializing in deep learning and evolutionary computation, with over 50 papers published in leading AI journals and conferences. Mostly focusing on application of deep learning and genetic algorithms in various real-world domains. But what was interesting was that they never mentioned the company Dr. Eli David owns or works for. Fast forward to April 2021, Nano Dimension will pay the shareholders of Deep Cube approximately 40 million in cash and 30 million in American Depository Shares or ADS of Nano Dimension, which are subject to standstill or for various period for up to three years after closing of the transaction. So what's so special about DeepCube's artificial intelligence? Well, it's artificial intelligence and machine learning, deep learning, or AI MLDL solution demonstrate 10 times speed improvements and memory reductions, making it the only technology would allow efficient deployment of deep learning models on edge devices and for real-time applications. Basically, they're saying that DeepCube has developed proprietary software algorithms that teaches its AI MLDL to self-teach and self-learn and can do it efficiently and effectively. Do you note that CEO Yof Stern's recent eToro interview, he did reiterate his goal of building an AI, machine learning, and deep learning network of nano-dimension production machines to print on demand on a global scale. Inventory of the designs of the components or products will be stored digitally on the cloud and are printed as needed and at the place needed globally. DeepQ scientist and engineer will be joined NNDM upon closing of the transaction. Here's an interesting part that kind of concerns me. DeepQ's founder are Dr. Eli David, who is the chief technology officer, and Mr. Yaron Aiton, who is the executive chairman. Both are directors of Nano Dimensions. This is almost like inside buying or conflict of interest. I don't know how this will be looked upon. Essentially, it is almost like they're paying themselves with the money they have raised. I would not be surprised if short sellers start to attack Nano Dimension on this. Anyway, Kathy Wood of ARK Invest continues to buy NNDM. She recently purchased over half a million shares on April 19th for her ARK Q ETF. Kathy Wood and team must know something that we don't, so I take this as a positive catalyst. Let's check the Fintel website. Per their website, NNDM has a short volume ratio at 26%. It has been fluctuating between 20 to 30% level. Let's look at its daily chart. It is trading at a $7 range at the time of this recording. It's up about 7% on a volume spike over 215%. Its RSI has a reverse course, but the MACD is still way below the zero level and it's relatively flat. Yesterday, it did dip below the $7 support level. So today, it seems to be holding up pretty well. NNDM, like every other high-tech and high-growth stock out there, is under a lot of sound pressure. Based on the technical, as I've stated in my previous video, worst case scenario is that NNDM could dip further to the next support level to the $5 range, but this is unlikely. However, I did state that it will most likely trade sideways and build a consolidation above the $7 area for a while before its next uptrend. This has to do with the overall market sentiment. Now, it does not help that Nano Dimension is not generating much revenue at the moment, if any at all. It is also interesting to note that NNDM has about $1.5 billion cash on hand, and their market cap is showing about $1.8 billion. It is almost a one-to-one -one ratio of book value to market cap. Again, that's because they don't really have a significant revenue coming in at the moment. This may explain why the stock has been beaten up as of late because the market sentiment is very poor right now toward companies that are not making any significant revenue generations. 
Overall, I am still long on NDM. So there you have it. Hopefully you find the content of this video of value. If you have not already subscribed, please do so by helping us grow this channel. You can also sign up at our Patreons to support our channel. Thank you and let's go make lots of moolahs.